Hi students, today let me introduce to you a virtual lab. How we can do the experiments without having laboratory and apparatus with you, but we can still do the same experiment what you do in lab. Okay, that is what is known as virtual lab. Actually, we have so many facilities to access virtual lab from IIT. Many, many uh, IITs as well as uh, uh, we have Amrita, Amrita University, uh, which offers virtual lab for us. So, I will just demonstrate one such for you. Say, for example, if you go into Google, uh, you can type like uh, uh, virtual lab chemistry experiments. So, it will list uh, uh, which all IIT uh, can offer you the virtual lab for you. Okay, there uh, you can choose uh, physical chemistry, Amrita, Amrita, you know, uh, Vishwabidam. Okay, if you get into that, you can uh, see the list of uh, experiments. There you can choose EMF. Okay, otherwise, straight away you can get into this link. Uh, this link I've uh, posted in Moodle. You just get into this link which will open this page. Okay, so this experiment is determination of EMF. We can measure EMF from which in turn we can also determine the single electrode potential. Uh, on the right hand side you could see variables, cathode, concentration, anode and again concentration okay so first of all let us fix the temperature uh, usually the room temperature could be fixed as uh, uh, 25 to okay 27 degrees or 30 degrees celsius okay then i'm going to choose a cathode okay here we have list of cathodes like lithium potassium barium calcium sodium uh, magnesium aluminium Say I'm going to determine the single electrode potential of zinc, so I can click zinc. So that uh, okay. One thing is the one more thing. What you can remember is that here they have given us cathode, so cathode prefer preferably I can choose it as copper. Okay, so I am choosing copper as uh, cathode. So, it has chosen copper and copper sulfate as the electrolyte. Then I can also choose the concentration like 0.01 or 0. Point, whatever concentration you would like to have, you can choose. Okay. Then move on to the anode. Now, I am going to choose anode. Okay. Since uh, copper is on the right side, I can prefer zinc to be on the left hand side. So, I am choosing anode to be zinc. So, zinc and zinc sulfate will be on the uh, anodic half cell. Okay. Now, the anodic half cell as well as the cathodic half cell is ready. Uh, we can measure the EMF and the EMF is shown in the, uh, we can use either voltmeter or potentiometer which, which will show as the EMF. When you are uh, differing, uh, say for example, I am going to differ the concentration. I am moving this to okay, 0 0.4 uh, 2.38 concentration and this also say 2.38 okay so some uh, 2.38 now you see the emf varies it, it is as 1.1 so emf will be shown here the result is shown here so this confirms that as the concentration of the electrolyte varies emf also will vary which confirms uh, uh, Nernst equation because Nernst equation give us the relationship between uh, concentration, temperature and the electrode potential. Okay. And we all know like uh, EMF of a cell is equal to E right minus E left. So, if we know the electrode potential of one half cell, we can determine the electrode potential of the other half cell. That is what you are doing in single electrode potential. Usually, there we are using a standard cell, preferably calomel electrode or something like that, whose value is 0.2422 volts. Okay, so once you know the EMF and one half of the cell electrode potential, we can determine whichever is unknown. 
okay so with this by this method we can either determine the em i mean electrode potential of zinc electrode or single electrode potential of copper sulfate copper electrode and uh, we can also vary the concentration for different uh, concentration we can calculate the electrode potential so this you can try this link i have given i have posted in moodle so go to this link and try this out the condition is that um, you must have adobe flash player uh, check it out and let me know if at all you have any difficulties thank you